A couple of years ago, a religious sister asked me to ask some students who attended the high school where I was chaplain to write letters to a man who was on death row and who was scheduled to be executed in one month. And I told the students to write a brief note of encouragement so that the man would not feel alone when he went to his death. Then I sat down to write my own letter to the man, and I did not know what to say. I was stuck. It took me forever to write a little note. What do you say to a man who knows he is going to his death in less than a month? It wasn't a matter of judging the man for his past actions or giving him advice that would mean nothing. It was more of a block on my part of relying too much on my own words and not enough on the peace that can flow from the expression of faith as a believer in the resurrection of Jesus. What I needed to do was to turn to today's gospel, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. This Advocate, uh, this Holy Spirit, will not be a substitute for Jesus. He will act as an emissary, as someone who will participate in the mission of Jesus and remind us, the disciples of Jesus, of all that he taught us. But this Spirit is an advocate, someone who speaks and works on our behalf, someone who is on our side, who pleads our cause. But really, think of our reality. Think of the fear and the anxiety that we have in our own world and our own lives. Think of the people with us today in this chapel and those of you who join us on television who have the fear of that phone call from the doctors about the results of recent medical tests. Or how many parents fear for their children. Or how many children have anxiety for their elderly parents. The fear and anxiety that is caused by being laid off and knowing that your job is not in your control. We need an advocate because we need someone to plead our cause. What does this advocate do for us? It proves to us that the peace that Jesus gives is real and lasting. 